Prost, 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 Prost. Hier. Prost, 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 Prost. Das geht's. Kimi. Oh, jetzt geht's auf, Kack. Let's go, I'm back in his bed. Oh. On your cat. Hey, on your whiskers. You're cute. I feel as I got a moment to get some argon in that jar from the welding um, gas tank. Put a vacuum, stuck it on the welding gas, turn it on, got some argon in there. Interesting, the argon doesn't seem to have any effect on the arc. Okay, I've all expected it to be a little bit more plasma like, but there you go. This actually shielding gas the argon when you weld it, it shields the oxygen from oxid oxidizing the uh, metal when you weld. I suppose it's probably doing the same thing there. So if there's no oxygen to burn, it's just. Well, there's a tiny bit of air in there, a tiny bit of air got in as I um, tried to fill this uh, vessel up. It's a bit of plasma, so the argon is actually doing something. If I make a proper vessel and a proper setup, it'll probably uh, be similar to a vacuum effect, how, how it arcs. There you go. Arc in an argon rich environment. Just a lot of purple, and that's pretty much it. Alright, viewers. That was interesting. Alright, let that arc. I want to put a magnet near the jar. See if it doesn't, any, if it's strong enough to attract the arc and pull it off the um, electrodes. Got the magnets. Nah. Doesn't have any effect on the arc. Not quite strong enough. By the looks of it, here you go. No difference. Turn it off. Strike again. Okay, the usual, the argon. Yeah, it doesn't do much different, but it's just less, less oxygen to uh, turn the ozone, I suppose. So that'd be enough for now. So unplug safety first. Thanks for watching.